Hey everybody, this video is going to be a little different and not the video I planned. Uh, you see, we've had a lot of storms here in Georgia, and so I've had no power, uh, well, for the entire day of Sunday. It came back on, but after three days, we still don't have internet, so thought I'd do some updates and some different things that are going on with Bamboo Lab. And first up, we have the state of the firmware craziness that's been going on. And uh, I did a video about this a few weeks ago where I was urging patience. And so far, everything I said in that video is pretty much still the same and pretty much has panned out kind of the way I was hoping. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of changing, but, you know, that may... Things may change as it goes, but you can check out that video for more information if you're not real familiar about what's going on, and that just gives you some ideas of uh, how I feel about it, which is patience. And along with that, because of all the craziness being thrown around by a lot of content creators and others out there, well, Bamboo has made a change to their affiliate program on February 15th. And uh, the affiliate program is where people like me and others, even you if you wanted to, could sign up to be an affiliate and if you're accepted then you can put a code out and if somebody purchases on that code, well then you can uh, get a little bit of a revenue from that. But anyway, so they made that change on February 15th and basically what they've said, there's one change. Clause 2C updates the affiliate conduct and promotion standards. And the original way it said it was affiliates were required to promote Bamboo Lab in a way that reflects positively on the brand and avoids damaging its reputation. Well, that's pretty standard and kind of what you would want to expect from a company if you're going to sell for them. The update changes just slightly. It says affiliates must now promote Bamboo Lab in a way that accurately represents the brand and its products. So the big thing there is accurately represents. And so there are some restrictions that go with that. Affiliates must not engage in untruthful practices, spread misinformation, or knowingly create or share false or misleading content. Now, I did put some of that false and misleading content in that video if you happen to watch it, but I was presenting it as what others were doing, and then I had my own thoughts on that. So just to clarify on that, Bamboo says that they do allow honest product reviews, and that's all I've ever seen in actually talking with them and asking them, you know, were there some things that you want me to say? You know, it's kind of asking just to see if they would say back to me, well, they're always have every time I've ever talked with anybody out there said, no, you do what you feel like you need to do. So they want product reviews and they don't use affiliate tools is what they're saying to manipulate those opinions. Now the reason for these changes, like I said, they are basically, they're holding affiliate members accountable for what they say about the brand that they're earning that affiliate money from. And honestly, I don't see a problem with that. Any job you work for, they're, they don't want you out there talking bad about the company, especially if you're spreading lies, misinformation, or just half-truths about things that you really don't know about. So, And if you don't like the brand anyway, why would you want to earn money from those sales? So there you go. All right, so next up. You may be aware that in August, August 2024, last year, the big giant in 3D printing, Stratasys, well, they sued Bamboo Lab in Texas for allegedly infringing on 10 different patents related to 3D printing features. And some of those patents that they sued them over were things like extrusion-based deposition system for 3D printing. So basically FDM 3D printing. Uh, contact force detection for a 3D printer extruder. So when the filament comes out and it's pressed down there and it can tell that things are extruding too, too much or not enough, and it makes those adjustments. That's what that's about. 
Let's see, data tags on filament spools for multicolor printing. And that's bamboo in a nutshell right there. They use those, um, um, the little tags there, so that NFC tags, so that you can tell what filament you've put in your AMS system and it will know exactly what to do with it. So that's a big one. And also networked 3D printer with a built-in 3D scanner. And when I hear scanner, I think, of course, you know, scanning and 3D prints and all that type of thing. I think what they're saying here, this is the camera so that you're scanning the print bed. I may be wrong on that, but either way, that's a big one as well. So pretty much all of those things are synonymous with 3, 3D printers in general. And that's, you know, why they're only going after bamboo. Well, it's basically because right now they're the big guy in 3D printing. So there's some new movement. The reason I'm bringing all this up because this new movement, things that they're doing, kind of seems like a big deal, but it's not. So if you happen to see anything about it, basically what's going on, it's just a bunch of legal, legal gobbledygook, whatever you want to call it, where Bamboo is coming back and saying, well, Stratasys didn't include uh, the USA branch of Bamboo Lab in the lawsuit, and also that the lawsuit shouldn't be filed in East Texas because West Texas makes more sense. I think they have something over in West Texas, but not in East Texas. I don't know. It's just legal wrangling trying to see if they can make something happen. And I mean, I guess I'd try anything if I was in a lawsuit to try to get it dismissed. So there you go with that. <laughs> anyway, um, the big thing on all of this though is whichever way it turns out, if it happens anytime soon or years from now, it's going to be a massive impact on 3D printing. I think we can all agree with that because of just the ones that I mentioned. Well, just think about it. Stratasys wins. Well, practically every 3D printer out there is going to be liable for something. And you know what that means. It's going to jack up the prices and maybe even push our whole industry back a few years or more. Who knows? And then if Bamboo Lab wins, well, everybody can move forward. And we may actually see some innovations coming out that I'm imagining some of these people have been sitting and waiting to see what's going to happen. Specifically, I don't know if you remember, Bamboo Lab was supposed to be putting out a new printer in like December and then they moved it back to January and well, haven't heard anything much about all of that so far. So really want to know what's going on there. Well, next, last, this is a big one for me at least. I think it's a big one for a lot of us. Something happened with Maker World, and they made some changes. And really the biggest news of all of this uh, is the fact that designers can begin selling commercial licenses for their designs. And I don't know if you've seen this, along with some changes on Maker World that I'm not really happy about. Have any, has anybody else noticed that, especially in my, well, I haven't been able to get on the internet but uh, with my computer, but on my app, when I click on a, model now, it actually opens up a whole page of models and yeah, I can scroll through different models for that designer or go to different ones like it, but then I have to tap again to actually get to the model to see about it. So it's added an extra step in there and I don't know if that's because of all of this with the commercial d license that they're planning on selling, but that one's a little annoying. We'll see how that all pans out, but back to the commercial license. To participate, the creators involved, they need to have at least 200 followers and have uh, had 600 prints on their designs and then have had no rule violations in the past 90 days. Well, the cost could be anywhere from $3, which is the minimum, and $300, which is the maximum, and that's going to be a month. And it's up to the designer, whatever they feel like they can charge but then you can legally sell those prints, just like Patreon and everywhere else. You've got that month that you can sell it, so it has to be continuing. Now, Maker World is going to take 10% off the top for platform fees and payment processing charges, and right now I believe they're only using PayPal is what I've read. So it goes, you know, all of that, but 10%, 
is, from my understanding, less than Patreon and possibly others. Um, and I really think this is a great thing for not only for designers, but you know they get to make money from their designs, whereas before they may not have. And it's also good for sellers because I don't know about you, but I've thought about some of these and I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, man, that would be great to sell, but I've skipped a lot of those designs and looked for them elsewhere maybe um, just for legal reasons. So now they do have a commercial license helper for designers. So if you're interested, go check all that out. And that commercial license helper will help designers customize how they want to license their product. And as I understand it, there's a lot of ways that they can do this, but the most interesting I actually saw on a Bamboo Lab forum where somebody was asking and saying that, you know, they wish they could do something about allowing people to sell locally, you know, just have it in their hand and sell it to somebody versus selling it online. Well, the Bamboo Lab rep with the actual real mark there showing that that's who they were, they responded and said that, yeah, you can do that. You can have a license for just selling locally and have a license for selling on Etsy or someplace like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all works out and how many designers jump on board. And also, I'm just curious if this is going to end up working out better than other sites, like I said, like Patreon, Things, and all those others out there. So that also reminds me, you're still allowed, there's no, no exclusive license, you're still allowed to sell your designs on Patreon, Things, and uh, My Mini Factory, all those different sites out there like that. Now, I think that's a great thing. Let, let the market figure it out. Don't worry, though, about free designs. I did make sure and verified this. Maker World Bamboo has said that they are committed, that's their wording, committed to everything on Maker World being free for personal use. So keep on printing. And that's about all I have on Bamboo at the moment. And hopefully my internet's going to be back up soon because I have a pretty awesome video that I'm really itching to get out to you and I think you're going to like it. Uh, let's just say there's nothing artificial about the amount of intelligence that I'm packing into that one. So <laughs> Anyway, until then, check out my other videos, have fun 3D printing, and as always, let's continue to learn, create, and amaze.